Well, it's Monday, and just reflecting back over Sunday, what a great day. Um, we started our new series, um, Who Is My Neighbour?, where we're looking at how we as a church should respond to issues of poverty and injustice in our world. And we took a look at the story of the Good Samaritan. In fact, we're going to spend the next three weeks in the, the story of the Good Samaritan, the Luke's Gospel. And each week we're going to look at a different character. And we're going to finish up looking at us as being the Good Samaritans to the world that we live in. How do we engage that way? And um, next week we're going to look at the priest and the Levite in the story and, and the different ways in which we might struggle to engage, the different genuine reasons that we might choose not to get involved. But this week we took a bit of a different turn in terms of looking at ourselves as the, the man who's been beaten up and left for dead by the side of the road. And we really saw that that's where our motivation to help the poor comes from. That although we may not have experienced physical poverty, all of us as followers of Jesus have experienced what it is to be spiritually poor, to be dead in our sin, to know a weight of sin that we can't even begin to repay. And to know what it is to have Jesus come as our good Samaritan, the one who came unexpectedly, just as the Samaritan came to the Jew. The one who went for him his place of safety and put his own life in risk and in jeopardy. The one who paid the price for us in order that we might move from a position of death to a position of life. How Jesus not only did that for us, but he himself bore our wounds. It was by his stripes that we are healed. And really until we understand that, we're just going to have a fleeting sort of kindness or maybe even a paternalistic effect of we just want to, you know, we feel sorry for those people, so we want to help them. No, no, we truly understand what it is to be poor in spirit. Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So as you maybe reflect and think a bit about Sunday's sermon, if you didn't hear it, go and listen to the podcast. I'd encourage you to do that. Do you want to think of two questions? First of all, how do you recognize yourself as being poor in spirit? How do you see where you came from, of being dead in your sin, of being beaten up by sin, left for dead by the side of the road, shamed, naked? How do you see yourself in that person? How do you identify spiritually with that condition and that state? And maybe if you struggle, then, then look at a few key Bible verses that might point you there. Hey, what about the verse that says that all of us are sin and fall short of glory of the glory of God? How about that the wages of sin are death? That's literally what we earn through our sin. And then think about how Jesus is our good Samaritan, how he came from heaven to earth to make a way where there was no way to bring us freedom and liberty. As John 10.10 10 says, the devil came to steal and kill and destroy. That's how sin and the world left us. But Jesus came that we might have life and life in all its fullness. And spend some time worshipping Jesus, thanking him for what he has done in your life. That you're no longer dead in your sin, but you're now seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. That all of heaven's riches are now yours, that Jesus no longer calls you a servant or a slave, he calls you a friend. That you're now a co-heir with him, that you're now in Christ, that when God sees you, he sees you through the lens of his son. And he welcomes you in that boldly you can approach his throne. That that's where we are now, but that's not where we were. And that's the journey we want to see others go on, both physically and spiritually. So I hope you have a great time, whether you're thinking about this on your own, whether you're thinking about this in community, and that God speaks to you through this. And you'll come expectant, ready for next Sunday as we look at ourselves as the priest and the Levite. Have a fabulous week. Be praying for the Alpha courses that are happening this week, Bracknell and Sandhurst and in prison. And I shall see you um, next Sunday.